Do you know how to create a map animation in your travel video? Stay tuned, because I will show you how to create one today. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the notification bell and click the subscribe button to get notifications each time we publish a new video. Making a map animation video in Filmora is very simple. There are two main things I need to prepare. One of these is a map image, and the other one is a map image with a red line. You can use any graphic editing software to draw this red line on the map and save it as a new picture. Now, let's drop these two pictures into the timeline. The way we're going to make that line look like it's moving is that we're going to go up to the transitions and find Erase Slide under the Replace menu. Then, put that transition in between the two and stretch it all the way out. What you will see is that the red line is actually moving across the map. What we want to do from here is to take this and export it. Next, let's import our map animation and bring it down into the timeline. Find the moving line animation from the beginning to the end and delete the rest of the clip. Now, we need to mark some specific locations on the map by adding some pointers. Let's go up to the Elements tab. The pointer element is under the Travel Life Pack. Place it above the map clip. Then, right-click the pointer clip and select Speed and Duration to open the Custom Speed menu. I'll change the speed to about 0.8 and click OK to apply. Match the ending with the map clip. The pointer looks too big now, so let's resize it and put it in the proper position on the red line. Then, I'll duplicate this pointer three times on top of the video track. Now, let's work on the edit of these clips and trim the clips to match the ending of the video. The next thing I want to do is to add an overlay section of the motorcycle driving on the way. So, what I'm going to do is drag the motorcycle video on top of the map clip. But, now you can't see the map underneath. So, what we want to do is click on that footage and go up to the video tab. Let's click on compositing and change the blending mode to soft light. It will allow the map to come through underneath. However, the problem now is when looking at the preview window, the image looks too messy. So, I want my motorcycle clip showing at the corner smoothly. Let's click on the Effects tab. Over in the left, choose Utility, and then drag the image mask down onto the motorcycle track, so that it overlays with the entire track. Then double-click on the motorcycle clip to open the editing menu. If you scroll down the video effects menu, you can see where that image mask has been applied. Now, I'm going to choose an oblong spiky shape. Then, we can adjust the shape in the control panel right below those shapes. After that, let's go up to transform to move the motorcycle in the desired position. And here you go! If you'd like to recreate this video, you can navigate to Filmora Creator Academy in Filmora Video Editor and click Import Template at the bottom left of the video to get the project files. Then replace the default media with your clips. Creating a map animation has never been easier. Let me know if you have any ideas or questions in the comments below. We may answer them in our future tutorials. See you on the next video.